Hello, I'm Mal. Welcome to Life in Bunker by Flux Studios. So this game's actually been in development for a while now. And I was fortunate enough to get access to the beta, so I've been playing it and sort of learning the game. But today, February 25th of 2016, is the official release. So I thought, hey, let's do a, a let's try of Life in Bunker with the release version of the game. So let's get to it. We'll do new game. So, Life in Bunker, well, <laughs> is about controlling some, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, people, colonists, uh, survivors, I guess survivors, right? Um, down in this down in this bunker, and there's multiple levels, and it is a, a building sim game, and you're trying to survive, I think it's 50 cycles, and then presumably the bunker will open back up, it'll be safe to come back to the surface, I guess is the case. Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet, so... We'll see how far I can get in this playthrough, but it's a really fun game. I like it, um, but we'll get more into that in a second. Okay, so let's see. Bunker name. Um, Mal's... Hideaway. No, that's not good. We'll just do Mally's... Bunker in stuffs. There we go. That'll work. <laughs> All right. So you've got a couple settings, small or large. I've only played on small world size now, and even small, it's actually pretty big. And then we've got uh, a choice of um, ore. So you can do low amount of ore. You can do high amount. Um, caverns. The amount of caverns generated on the level. I really haven't messed around with that. Oh, I mean, I don't really know exactly the impact of that yet. Uh, events, you can set this um, to low, medium, high also. And as you can see here, it's the frequency of like disease, earthquakes, breakages, and so on. So this actually does have a pretty big game impact. I've played on both uh, rarely and I've played on normal. I'm going to leave it on normal for this one. Um, the mole men are, um, you know, enemies that will show up. They'll like burrow up from underground and you have to fight them off and um, they're not that bad, at least my experience has been, they're not that tough to deal with, unless you let them build up. If a bunch of them, uh, come up, then they can be problematic, otherwise it's no big deal, so I'm gonna leave that as normal. Hide rifts and mines. This would be to make it, I guess, more difficult, if you couldn't see them until you were right on top of them. I'm not gonna do that, because that's just kinda silly. And we're not gonna enable the tutorial, I'll explain things as we go along. Alright, let's go. All right, so first things first, let's pause this, because this is the clock, so time would be progressing. We don't want to deal with that, so... And I'll start explaining things to you. So here at the top, we've got the number of residents, so that's our 10 survivalists. Our, our research points, of which we have none right now, but we'll be able to accumulate those later once we have a research station and a scientist. Garbage, which is right here. This is pretty important, actually. <laughs> I've had... <laughs> More than one test playthrough go sideways on me because I didn't keep track of how much garbage I had. It, yeah, it could be quite problematic, so... But we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Then we've got uh, building materials, and you can see that they're actually right here in these two storage containers. We can change this to nothing, we can change it to hold raw materials. Like this one here is actually holding ore, raw ore, which has to be refined to turn it into a building material. So you start off with kind of a nice little uh, base here. We've got we've got some fish here in this storage, in this fridge, 40 of 40. These are our air purifiers. This is our cloning incubator, so we can actually get like babies for the colony here or for the bunker. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing that. So they take a while to develop and then they become kids and then they finally grow up because one of the things that you have to deal with, let's go ahead and look at the master list of what's going on here by hitting tab. Here's all of our residents. Let's sort by time. Okay, so you can see here, here's their age. Somewhere around 12-ish, they start like dying off. So my very first playthrough, I didn't really understand that concept too much. So I was doing really well. And then all of a sudden, everybody started getting old and retiring and then dying. And I couldn't repair anything. I couldn't build anything. So, so now I'm very, very much keep an eye on uh, the whole, you know, cloning process or whatever you want to call it and bringing in new, new people into the colony. All right. So let's explain this stuff to you. So here's the age. 
their health. And then these are the different professions that you can assign them to. So you've got a worker. That's if you want to build, have them be, you know, building stuff or clearing out uh, materials. You've got janitor that they keep the bunker clean. Um, engineers, which will fix broken things and do maintenance. You've got a cook that will prepare meals. You've got a farmer that will cultivate crops and fish. And then you've got a scientist. Okay, so let's see. Here's their happiness. Currently, everybody's really happy. And then disease. Everybody is currently healthy. Don't have any current events. Research, as I mentioned earlier, this stat here. Um, the this we'll, we'll get more into this as we actually have research points. But what I generally do is I'll take like tempered drill bit. That's like one of the first things I'll get. Um, you'll see what the impact of of that in just a moment. But there's a lot of, there's like a, just a ridiculous number of things that you can research. And it's really, really cool. And they do make a really big impact. So I like to try to get research as early as possible. But there's a lot of things that your, your bunker doesn't have when you start. Like even though you do have some fish here, you don't really have any way to prepare it. You don't have any way to have people sit down and eat. So we, we have to address those kinds of things right away. The other thing that's an issue is that here's what you start with in terms of utilities. So here's our oxygen level, 38% of the capacity is remaining. Um, we've got 71% of our power used up and 33% of our water remaining. So, excuse me, 71% remaining here. So this, this, these all go down really quickly. Um, so what I like to do is get water, an additional water pump as soon as I can, and then spend the resources to get additional electricity, which you're not going to want to do when you're playing because you just want to like be building stuff, but you kind of have to. Okay, so now let's see. This is all randomly generated. Where's our... Oh, this is nice. So we've got an ore deposit here and here. Okay, so we're going to go down here to destroy. And we're going to highlight some of this. Okay, now we can't get this one. Say we need tempered, tempered drill bit or whatever. So that's okay, but we can get these other things. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that'll get us access to this ore over there. So we're going to confirm that with left click. You can see that it's yellow. So that job has started or it will be started as soon as I unpause. Then let's see, let's go. Hmm. We got to figure out where we're going to put like a kitchen and stuff. It wouldn't be bad over here. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and like this. And once I've got a couple of these jobs queued up, we'll start we'll start the process of getting to work and I will undo the pause. But it's a good idea to queue up your first couple of things. So let's take a look here again at our people and their assignments. Now, not everybody can do every job. So what you're going to want to do is sort of go through and go, hmm, what do I need them doing? At first, you basically need all workers. There's just it doesn't really matter. This person here can do janitorial. This person here can be an engineer. Um, you can do this and you can do that. Okay. Because there's nothing else for them to do. We can't, we can't cook yet. We don't have a kitchen we can't work on uh, farming and we can't do anything sciencey related, which would be to work in the infirmary or to do uh, work at the research station. So, all right, let's go ahead and start it. So over here, you've got your select. I can just click on whoever or an object or what have you. You've got your baseline um, buildings, which includes, or this is the first building tab, which includes walls, floors, and then your electrical work, be it power cable or pipes. You go down one step further, and then you, you have all these different subcategories that bring up other things that you can build. So like stuff that's considered life support, and you've got stuff that's residential zone, storage, farming, production, all this stuff. And we'll get to it as we go. All right, I'm going to pause it again for just a second. Now, I'll do less and less of this as we go on, but just to make sure we get a good start, I'm going to pause it a little bit because I'm not an expert at this game yet. This is a game I've only been playing for a short time, but I want it to go well. So let's see what did we do over here. So we just built or we will build this mining machine, which means we're also going to need a refinery. 
ideally, if we could put it over here. Now, it doesn't seem to matter, but just, just to kind of keep things organized, I, I like to do this. Put the refinery over by the mining machine. It doesn't seem to affect the efficiency. So, I, I mean, in theory, I guess you could have this here and your refinery could be on the other side of the map and it wouldn't matter much. But, like I said, I just like to do it. Okay, so we've got that highlighted. Let's go ahead and put it back on. And let's do some floors here. Now, there is an impact to this, so certain things require, like, for instance... Um, let me show you here. We're gonna want to do some farming. Vegetable patch. I can't build it here. Even though there's space, because it can only be built on a metal floor. So you gotta kind of bear that kind of stuff in mind. Takes a little getting used to. So I'm gonna do... Uh, metal right here. Three squares of it. And then I'm gonna do blue right here. And say okay. And then... Oh! Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. It's only clicked off screen or something. All right, and then... Go ahead and get some more space going over here. Okay, so we got an earthquake. That's okay. Janitors will clean up the debris. We have people assigned to that, so it should be fine. Let's grab some more blue here. Over here, let's see, we need that refinery. I'm pretty sure that requires, yeah, requires a concrete floor, right? Okay, so let's do that. And all of this is taking our, our building resources, even the, the floor pieces, nothing is, nothing's free. Everything has a cost associated with it. Oh, we need power over here, right, that would help. Let's do that. You can go to different views by clicking up here. So we've got, here's our bunker stats, and then we have the main floor. We've got the grid view for water, the grid view for electricity. It's also important to note that right on the devices themselves, here, let me, let me pause this a second. You can see like this right here, this green light means that it has power. It was blinking earlier, which means obviously it did not. And then something that requires both like this, like the incubator has a green light, which means it has power and has a solid blue light, which means it has water. Yeah, it's nice. They have lots of little touches like that that I didn't notice at, the, at first, but pretty neat. I like it. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's grab production, refinery. You can right-click to rotate an item, so I'm going to go like that, place the refinery. Now it should automatically get power because this adjacent thing has it, the mining machine. Okay, now up here, we're going to get started on a kitchen. Go like so. Now, I don't really, I mean, it, it's, it recommends to that you wall stuff off and you put in doors and whatnot. I guess that helps with happiness, but I, quite frankly, haven't seen the impact of that. It doesn't seem to matter a whole lot if you have walls or not. It also doesn't seem to matter if you have floors in a lot of areas either. Now, that might be because I was playing the beta build previous to this, and it might have an impact now in this version of the game. So we'll just have to see. Go ahead and make more room over here. Okay, kitchen's done. Let's get it some power, like so. And it's gonna need water. Where's the closest water? Right here, I guess? Now we'll just run a line. There we go. More blue floor here. And we're gonna put in some farming. Let's 
go down here. Now I put in three metal. You can see the well here. Hold on. Let me go back to this. You can see I put in that three metal and then just regular floor on the other side because this thing requires it, but only in that center piece. So here we go. We'll put in some farming. We're gonna need another fridge here at some point. Actually, probably right now. Okay, let's see, and we gotta do some new assignments here. Okay, we're gonna put you on farming. We're gonna put you on cooking. I probably don't need two engineers right now, but I'll leave it that way for now. Okay, so you can see that we are gaining building materials now. Uh-oh. What, what do we got? Oh, one of these dudes over here. Okay. Or right there. That was one of the mole men or whatever, but that's fine. We killed him pretty easily. I guess that becomes a bigger issue later. I, I really haven't had a whole lot of problems with, with the mole men. Sometimes they'll they'll start like they'll be like a little hole or whatever that they've done, and your janitors will go by and they'll get rid of that for you. Yeah, the little whatever hole that they're coming out of. Okay, power cable, like so, and water, like so. There we go. Why is this up here saying that it doesn't have doesn't have water? Pretty sure we did that. Maybe they couldn't build the connection? Or just hadn't gotten around to it? Come on guys, build the water pipes. I need you to do that. There it goes, water's flowing. It must have been that they couldn't actually get to this spot. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, they couldn't get back here to build that pipe. Makes sense. If I had cleared this over here, they would have been able to. All right. Go ahead and clear some more area. I mean, the game can get hectic, but for the most part, it's pretty relaxing. I like it a lot. I play a lot of games that tend to be stressful, so this one not being maybe as stressful is a nice change of pace for me. And I like these kinds of games. Okay, so let's go ahead and build... Actually, no, cancel that. This. I need metal here. Yeah. And then blue can go here. Okay, let's build that. And then let's get some more. We need a canteen. That's what we need. Yeah. So, hmm. Some place for them to sit down and eat. I mean, they'll eat anyway, but it would be good if they had that. Okay, so let's, let's destroy all this. Yep, go ahead and do that, guys. Grab this. We need to make beds and showers and all kinds of things. Got a lot to do. A lot to do. And we'll get to it. So we can't crack any of this. Well, we can do like that. But we can't get this stuff yet because we don't have that tempered drill bit yet. But we'll get it. Okay. And we need... Let's see. We're okay on resources. I think we ought to put in... Uh, another fridge. Which we could do... Well, we could do right here. That'll work. It should get power automatically. Let's double check, though. Yeah, it should get power automatically, because the door has power. Okay, how are we doing on utilities? Okay, water's gonna be a problem. Let's 
get rid of this part of the wall and we could build we can keep building utilities out this way that'll work how are we on air airs okay ish and our new people oh we've got them already okay are they still babies I guess yeah they can't be assigned yet because they're still babies or they're kids or whatever so now once they're adults then I'll start like another batch probably yeah see there's one of the kids right there what's up Homer what up dude status wise we're doing okay ish woman just dug up a hole okay they got rid of him okay we're good and then they'll go over and they'll close up this mole man hole Vegetables are overflowing. Oh, right. Let's say... Vegetable storage here. Got fish here. And vegetables here. Okay. And we don't have the tech to do... These other things like fish aquarium or fruit. So we'll just put in another vegetable patch right here. Power. Should I have space for it? Do I have space for a canteen over here? I don't think I do, but I'm gonna try it. And build that, folks. The graphics are simple, but I I like the graphic style. The music is really, really good. Can't say that about a lot of games, but the music in this is really good. My only beef with it is that you do there are keys to hit to like get the music to play the track again or what have you. I just wish it would play it automatically, like on a continuous basis. Because it's really that good. Okay, how are we on waste? Okay, we're okay on waste. Okay, let's see if we can get a canteen. We can get a canteen in right here. Okay, good. So we'll build it, like, up against the zone wall, I guess? Or we could put it here. Uh, next to the waste. I want to do that. This seems reasonable. I'm going to put it here. Like I said, I don't know what the importance is on having a wall doesn't seem to have any real impact um, but I'm fully prepared for somebody to tell me different okay I'm going to disassemble this which you can do right here so if you click on any object you can disassemble it here you do get back some resources as well so I'm gonna disassemble this floor lamp what up guys why aren't you doing this Oxygen level, yep. Yeah, I know, the oxygen level. Don't worry. That's why I got rid of that floor lamp. Life support. Air purifier. It's gonna go right there. Oh, what? I don't know what's going on there. Must That must be the dev console or something. Console, excuse me. Okay, so we're, yeah, at max here. And water, right. That's the next thing we gotta take care of. And that means we need to put down some concrete. Go ahead and extend that out. Okay, so we're doing okay on food. We have vegetables coming in now. That's good. So nobody's starving, doesn't look like. And we just need them to finish. There we go. Let's do a water pump right there. How much is a mini reactor? I'm tempted to do this now, too. I th think I will. Yeah, I'm going to. Because what, what happens is, you know, I'll be like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. And then, and then you know, end up having problems because I don't have utilities squared away. 
Okay, so fridge, we're okay here. Okay, here. Storage, we're fine on. Yep. Raw storage, we're good on. Probably should go ahead and get another refinery. Or, excuse me, another drill. How much is that gonna cost us? How much are you? 100. I just... Hmm, you know what? We'll hold off for now. Let's build up some- let's get some more building supplies available first. Okay, floors. Let's do concrete. Do something like that. And then... Let's go ahead and put in some walls. Right here. Again, I don't know what the impact is to this, but I'm gonna go with it. We'll keep the utilities kind of closed off from the rest of the base. Seems like a rational thing to do. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here, folks. I hope that um, I hope that you've enjoyed this first episode of Life in Bunker. I am going to be playing more of it because I really, really enjoy it. Again, this is from Blocks Studios. It is available on Steam. I want to say it's like $15, something like that. It's very reasonably priced. Um, it's a very fun game, um, and thus the reason why I will continue to play it. I do recommend that you check it out. Um, if you have any questions, uh, with my limited knowledge at this point, I will try to answer those for you. And of course, I always look forward to your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.